Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to my bathroom, you know. Um, it's Renee and I'm going on another little solo trip, so come along with me. Okay, so I'm going to Calgary slash Vamp slash Lake Louise to see my sisters. I'm going to get kind of more into detail about the trip as we continue, but I am right now just getting ready for the airport. And So your girl is trying to save some money, and I booked one of my flights with Flair, and you can't even bring a carry-on without paying for it. So I am just bringing this backpack for five days. Snowboarding has all my, like, winter stuff in there. Wish me luck. <laughs> not at the airport it's literally a ghost town in here like should i just like go drink some caesars or what can i grab a shop of tequila for you thank you i don't know what it is about being in the airport that makes me so hungry but i just got a bacon cheeseburger and i'm so excited and i pound back that double caesar and tequila shot and my flight keeps getting delayed, so I'm just gonna keep spending money if they keep delaying this flight, so they gotta get me on it. All right, we made it to Calgary. The weather is beautiful. My flight was delayed like two hours, but it is what it is. I, the plane was also so small. I was like so claustrophobic the whole time. That hasn't happened to me in so long on planes. But I was sitting in this really cool guy who was like doing this hike for 35 days all across Spain. See if I can find the name. Um, yeah, good vibes. Okay, vlog update. We went to D Spa. I'm with Alana. She doesn't want to be in the vlog, so what a freaking loser. Just kidding. <laughs> um, we'll try to convince her to be in it later. D Spa overrated i'm just gonna say it i've been there a couple times it's fine there's way too many items on the menu it's like a dessert place and it's just like mid so that's all i gotta say afternoon everybody I had a super lazy morning I just did a couple of little workout videos they were really lame honestly the ones that I chose and I woke up with a really bad migraine because every time I come to Calgary I get migraines like right away like I got one last night it stayed this morning I took some Tylenol I'm feeling a little bit better but what is that like what is with Calgary and giving me migraines honestly like get it together but I'm here in Calgary. Today's my first real day. Um, and I told you I was gonna give you a little bit of a lowdown about this trip. So, real talk, I've been going through it personally a little bit for the last couple weeks, um, not having the best time, but we're here to flip that around. I was supposed to be up in the mountains right now with somebody. Obviously, that's not happening. I'm in Calgary by myself, um, but it just is what it is. So I'm at my sister's apartment alone. She's at work. My other sister is at work as well. Um, so I basically have two days to kill in Calgary before I go up to Banff with my sisters. What am I going to do today? Honestly, the world is my oyster. Like, I'm kind of excited. So I'm in Calgary for the next two days, just killing time before I can go to Banff with my sisters. We're going to go snowboarding. We're going to go hiking. We're going to do all that fun stuff. 
One of my friends is coming to Banff today though. So I'm begging him to pick me up tomorrow to take me out to Banff so that I'm not alone in Calgary for another day um, with no car, no plans. Um, so hopefully that happens and I will bring you along. I have no idea, but um, spirits are high. Let's have a good day. So like I said, I packed all my stuff in a backpack because I'm flying with Flair. Honestly, Flair sucks. But they don't let you, like, you can only have a personal item. Like, you can't even have a carry-on. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to bring a backpack and that's it. And I'm going to pack for it because I'm trying to save money. Because me and Brooklyn have some incredible things coming up for you guys. We're going to have so much content. It's going to be amazing. Um, so I packed all the stuff that we needed in this backpack. Using packing cubes. These are amazing. You should get some. Like, I have snow pans in here. I have all my winter stuff. It's, like, insane. So that's how I did it. And since I have no car, I'm gonna be walking everywhere today. My sister lives close to downtown, so we're doing it. So let me kind of show you how I'm gonna dress. It's one degree, so it's honestly warm. Like compared to Winnipeg, it's warm. But I'm gonna be outside for like a couple hours, so we wanna keep it tight, keep it good. So I'm wearing long johns. And then the, just this long sleeve. I'm gonna wear these over top because these aren't really warm. But we're still trying to like be cute, right? For this day in Calgary. I love these pants. and make me feel like such a cool girl. And then obviously I'm wearing my one sweater that I brought. Over top of the long sleeve. Like, so cute. And then we have our puffer. Jacket that goes over. And let me check back in with some accessories. Okay, so here's my packing cube with my snow pants, my ski goggles, my hats, my mitts, everything. Like, this is crazy that it's all in here. I absolutely love these. Absolutely recommend them. I'm gonna bring them on every single trip that I go on. Okay, I think I'm gonna wear this just in case. It's a little buff. Doesn't really go with my all black, but it is what it is. Just to keep the neck warm. I'm just gonna wear a little, oh, where are they? I'm just gonna wear like little gloves because I can put my hands in my pocket. This is the question of the day. Oh, did I bring my other hat? Oh my God, I might've forgotten it. No. Do I wear a black hat or do I wear a white hat? I think I have to wear black because I'm wearing like all black. Like so cute. And then I have some sunnies. Honestly, goal of the day today might be to buy some sunglasses. My purse also broke literally the minute i got here stepped off the airplane purse broken so maybe today i'll buy some sunnies i'll buy some a purse we'll see okay so my first stop is only like 10 minutes away and then i'm gonna like go to a park and then i'm gonna try to see if there's like a cafe or somewhere to get food i'll give you a sneak peek of my first stop i don't know if you can see Okay, JK, this place is closed, so I'm on a hunt for another. So I'm walking another 15 minutes, right but it's like into downtown. It's literally so hot. Like, I did not need this. Like, I think I might even take off my jacket. I took off my neck thing. I'm not wearing my gloves. I love it here. Okay, my first stop is a success. I'm now walking back to the river. So it's like right there. And I'm gonna like walk around the park and like hang out, listen to my murder podcast, and then go grab some food. Um, I've been to Calgary like a billion times, so I'm not really like doing any sightseeing. I'm kind of just like enjoying my day. Um, it's going pretty good.
So I'm back in Kensington area. This is where I was at the start of my day. I'm looking for some food and um, I just realized that I have no idea what my sister's address is. So I might just be out until she's off work because I literally have no idea where she lives. Food is fantastic. I got like a flatbread with like spreads, like and then olives. They even sell me olives. It's really good though. Okay, so I went to that restaurant. I forgot what it was called, but it was like expensive. And I like sat there, and it was like a restaurant. Restaurant. I thought it was a cafe. So I just like ordered like food. It was like expensive. But the service was so good. The lady was like, I was like, can I get an eight ounce glass of rosé? And she's like, you should just get two happy hours because they're like five bucks each. And then you get 10 ounces. I was like, hell yeah, I'll do that. So then I was a little bit lit. And then I literally found my sister's apartment. Like I just found it. So like <sighs> amazing. And now I'm just chilling, waiting for her to come home. Um... Nice. This one makes a good day, huh? Yeah, it was like a pretty good day. Delicious Indian food. Do you want me to ask her to take one? Okay, it's the next day. We went to Bros to go. How was it? Amazing. Emily lo it. <laughs> loves it. We got these breakfast sandwiches. It was really good. And they give you a free cookie. Check them out. Okay, so I convinced my friend to pick me up and take me back to Banff. So I'm just walking my sister's dog, waiting for him. <laughs> and yeah, I'm pumped. That's how I'm spending my day. Wait, bring me a toy. Can you bring me a toy? Go bring me a toy. Bring me a toy. Oh, good job, Winnie. Sasquatch and high rollers and it was so fun and I'm really tired. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I rented my board. It was like $75 for like boots, board, and helmet. And it's a little bit cloudy, but I think it's gonna clear up and we're so excited. So excited, right, Emily? Yeah. <laughs> so we're like above the clouds. Looks kind of cool. Here comes Renee. Yeah. 
I'm starting again. Look at that. I wow. worked out back there. Did you see that? No, but I got you saying it on video. <laughs> okay, we're having lunch. This is a tradition when we go snowboarding. They're so easy. Delicious. Okay, so we're at the highest chair in Lake Louise. It's gorgeous. It's a black diamond. A lot of you suck. And we'll see if I can even make it down. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. Torture? I broke, I did breaks the whole time. Yeah, well, it, since you crossed over, we can call it a black, so. It is a black. <laughs> okay, so Alana is still a snake and took me on literally the worst run ever. And I've had this problem before when I was here. It's just really flat, so I'm tired, but we're in the back of the mountain now and we're on the back bowl. How's your day going, Alana? Really good. Fun day. Best day ever? Yes, best day. <laughs> okay, ski day over. Celebrating the pizza. <laughs> okay, we're going hot tubbing because we're sore already. How many Caesars will Renee drink on this trip? And a lemonade. Look so good. Mm. I honestly like we didn't bring our, our snowboarding equipment, but uh, professional. Alana bought us pizza. Woo! Okay, good morning everybody. Last night we went back to High Rolls Club. Alana came. How was your night, Alana? Fun. The best night ever. Emily didn't come, but we missed her the whole time. And now we are leaving today. We're gonna go get some breakfast and then we're gonna do a little walk, hike vibe. And it's a gorgeous day. You would still get a ticket because they're a pedestrian. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, Sam and Eggs Benedict bought me. Alana got a triple decker sandwich. And we got the prime rib. Okay, we're doing a quick little hike called Marsh Loop right before we drive back to Calgary. Yeah, like, and then we can go around the lake, like, on the way back. So we're at this cave and basin place. Um, I don't really know. So they have, like, a bunch of activities. So it's a hot spring. Okay, so my thoughts on this little museum is we got in for free because we had a national park pass. I would not pay to come here, but if you can come for free, it's nice. <laughs> One thing I will say is the views are gorgeous, but you can see them without paying, you know. It's not a hike, it's a walk. 
walk, but it's nice and it's slippery. Okay, I'm with my bestie, Lisa. She picked Hello. me up. She lives in Cochrane, so she picked me up from Calgary, and now we're in Cochrane, and now we're gonna go get food and drinks. Yes, we are. And we're excited. Tacos and tequila. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we're at Duck Sports Bar and Grill. We're the only people in here because it's Sunday night in Cochrane. Our bartender slash server, his name is Kyle. He's the best. He was so nice. Showed us these Virgin Mary shots, which is like a green tea if you're from Winnipeg, but with gin. And yeah, he really made this experience good. We're running a brew house. <laughs> I think they want to take a right. Okay, so I just had a lazy day with my friend today. We're a little bit hungover. And, oh my god. Now I'm at the airport. And I'm gonna get food. I got here so early and I'm kind of just wandering around because I'm trying to kill time. My bag is 100% too big to be considered a personal item. So... Let's just hope that they don't notice. <laughs> I'm like really scared. Okay, I only wandered around for like one minute. I'm at Chili's. So Flair made me pay for my bag. It was like $30, so it's like not that big of a deal. <coughs> I will probably literally never fly Flair again. I've had so many issues with them flying here. They canceled one of my fights I never even got my refund back for it and I followed their weight rules and they still charge me for a bag like honestly like I don't recommend you might as well just pay more money and pay like fly a better airline because this is actually kind of bullshit okay we just wanted to film a quick outro I know Brooklyn wasn't in this video but she was there in spirit oh. um we're also we're at the airport so for skiing, we went to Lake Louise. I personally like Lake Louise for snowboarding better than Sunshine, which is where I went in my last video where I went to BAM. So keep that in mind if you're a snowboarder, if you're a skier, honestly, I don't think it makes a difference. And that's it, basically. So thank you so much for watching our video. And we have a lot more fun videos to come for you. So make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, we're like struggling right now, but it's gonna be fun. Love y'all, can't wait for all our videos now.